How many times do you think it'll take before I don't mess this up? Claire growled as she stared at the glowing section of the dagger while hamming the section of the blade. Hannah giggled as she watched her friend. Could you hurry up so I can begin hitting my dagger? I don't want to heat it up and then have to wait while you're trying to figure out how not to mess it up. She teased, knowing it was a sore spot for Claire. Just ignore her. Claire thought to herself as she kept hammering the metal. Did you just think to yourself to ignore me? Hannah giggled even harder, being able to recognize Claire's body language due to their deep friendship. Claire was silent, trying to concentrate on her dagger. Unlike how Hannah hammered the metal, Claire didn't feel as confident, which made her think such a mentality was the source of repeat failures. Taking a deep breath, it's okay. I've already failed multiple times, so the worst thing that could happen has already occurred. I need to put more confidence in this, Claire thought to herself. Striking the metal, the vibrations weren't felt in Claire's hand as much and caused her to brighten. That sounds like a good strike, Hannah voiced encouragement behind Claire. Though the next strike caused the vibrations to flow through the glove and then to her hand holding the steel. Claire didn't let that discourage her. When she struck the metal again, it made a satisfying sound. Once the metal cooled, Claire stopped and made her way back to the forge to heat it back up again. I think you're making pretty good progress, Hannah grinned. She pulled out her own dagger that she stuck in when the timing was right. Using a wire brush, she cleaned off the metal. Sighing, I think I'm just now getting the hang of it, unlike someone. Claire glared at Hannah's smile. It's truly unfortunate how talented I am. Hannah made a tragic expression as she moved to the anvil. Waiting for the metal to heat up, Claire tried to study how Hannah was striking her dagger. She's definitely more talented than I am when it comes to forging. She smiled, happy to see her friend doing so well. Though there was a feeling of hunger in Claire's stomach, trying to forge daggers made them ignore such bodily signals. She was surprised by how invigorating it was to create something from nothing. They had likely been inside of the workshop for hours, not even including the time it took to create the steel bars. Pulling out her dagger, Claire switched with Hannah, who was already making her way back. Placing the metal on the anvil, once again, the sound of the hammer striking metal rang throughout the workshop. This time, Claire didn't feel the vibrations through her hand, which meant that the force was being properly directed through the dagger and into the anvil. Slowly, she was getting close to the tang. Claire thought about how she'd soon need to begin hammering the edge. With how much she struggled to hammer the blade without messing up, she didn't like the idea of creating the bevel for the edge. Once the metal cooled again, she went back to heat the metal. Looks like you'll be starting on the bevel soon? Hannah smiled and you'll be heating your blade to get it ready for quenching. Claire tried to hide the jealousy in her voice. Hannah grinned, catching the tone. She made her way to the tool that'd be used to evenly heat the dagger to help average out the stresses from hammering the blade. Well, at least this experience is good for humbling me. Claire couldn't help but chuckle self-deprecatingly. With Hannah going through the quenching process, having already beveled the edges, Claire didn't have to worry about timing when her blade came out. She couldn't help but remember when they first started off, where one of them would be finished hammering, but the other was still heating the blade. Pulling out her dagger, Claire made her way to the anvil. Tilting the metal when touching the anvil, she began hammering the top section of the blade. 
Fortunately, the anvil would create the bevel on the other side, so when she flipped the sword, she could work on the other side's edge 